Hello everyone. In this video, I will be building the Volkswagen Type 2 delivery van. This one is the Egg Girls Summer Paint 2017 edition. It's a 124 scale kit released by Hasegawa. So the base kit is actually from 1997, but Hasegawa has been re-releasing them with egg plain girls deco since 2015. So the 2017 one is a summer paint version with girls in, well, summer clothing. So this is a curbside kit. It doesn't come with a detailed engine, but it includes a piece with the engine bits printed on top, which is nice. It also has basic parts for interior, but with the decals on the outside, you probably wouldn't be paying too much attention to the inside. Now the kit has some flashes and nut marks to clean, so nothing too difficult. You can just clean the big bits with a craft knife, and then clean them up with a 400 grit sandpaper. Now for the parts that have shrunk, I'll just fill them with Tamiya basic putty and then sand them off. One annoying thing about this kit is the chassis and the body is really tight fit. As you can see, I'm pretty sure if I put it together at the end, it's going to damage the paintwork. So I set out to do some modification on the body and the chassis. I narrow down the chassis by sawing the sides off. It might look scary, but the body is going to cover most of the chassis anyway, so don't worry too much. A little more adjustments to the chassis, and now it fits easily onto the body. I might have sawed off too much chassis. Since I have some waste styrene sheets lying around, I decided to rebuild part of it. The sheet I'm using here is 0.2mm thick and it bends easily around the chassis. Now the chassis sides are straight again. You don't really have to worry about the top because most of them will be hidden out of sight anyway. Now the exhaust doesn't come with an exhaust. So I marked it with a pin and drill with a 0.5mm drill. Before painting, I sand all the parts with wet 1000 grit sandpaper. I spray all the parts with Mr. Surfacer 1000. The mixing ratio is about one part surfacer and one part thinner. For the white part, I use Gaia Color X01 White. I also paint the body white since it will help bring out the light blue color later. For the light blue, I just follow the instructions, except for the yellow, which I just grab whichever one's on hand. 
it doesn't really matter much as you're only using so little. I realized I don't have any flat black on hand, so I just use black covered with a flat clear coating. Now painting the engine block requires a bit of planning since it involves a few different colors. So I paint one color first, mask it, paint another one, and repeat until every color is on. I use the pin to guide the masking solution into parts that are too difficult to reach. Next, I get the parts ready for the deeper blue color. Here, I'm using Tamiya's masking tape for curves. Compared with the paper yellow masking tape, this one gives the finish a sharper edge. Some of the parts may need a touch-up after spraying, but that's not too much. For the silver part, I'm using Alclad Chrome. It works on the black base, so I have to paint the lines black first. It will need a bit of touch up, but overall I'm happy with the paint job. For the panel lines, I used Tamiya's XF63 German grade thinned with Sippo lighter fluid.
Once the paint is dried, I just wipe off the excess with a cotton tube dipped with the lighter fluid. The Volkswagen logo on the wheels are done in pretty much the same way, except this time, I use Tamiya's XF2 flat white. To apply the decals, I first put Mr. Mark Setter on the area and then slide the deco onto it. Once I got it in position, I apply Mr. Mark Softer and then use a wet cotton tip to iron it out. The deco on the number plate is a little bit tricky, as the deco is slightly larger than the part itself. The trick is to use a wet cotton tip and keep rolling on the edge until the side kind of melts into place. The larger decos are applied in pretty much the same way. Looking back, I probably should have cut the deco into smaller pieces before applying. Working on a piece as large as this, I actually ripped a few places on the deco, and later I realized there were few air bubbles trapped beneath. Another problem with large decals is they might not sit that well over bumps or grooves. Here I use a craft knife to slit those parts open so the deco can sink in. This piece of deco has to go on top of two door hinges. I cut a slit on the opening to give myself more tolerance when applying the deco. Once the decos are in place, I cut along the panel lines to reveal them again. I applied three coats of clear color. Once it's dried, I sand it with a wet 2000 grit sanding sponge. This levels out the decals. Afterwards, I applied three more coats of clear paint before polishing them with Tamiya's polishing compound. This is what happens when you try to polish with air bubbles trapped underneath the deco. Luckily, I was able to fix it.
some paint around the corners and edges has been scrapped off when polishing and has to be fixed. For the clear part, I use white glue to stick them on, since if the glue spilled out, they can be cleaned easily. I give the headlight a little bit of polish with the fine polishing compound. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you again soon.